All right, welcome, Game Maker. How to make a gun fire at the bullet from the end of the gun. So we've all seen this here, where you've made your uh, weapon and you go to fire. But of course, beginners will always fire from the X, Y origin of the sprite. And so what you get is you can see the bullet ends up coming out of right there, and it looks a little weird, right? Even though it works, looks a little weird. So what I'm going to do in this video is show you for a nice sprite that is centered how to do it. And what I mean by centered is this. I've put the origin right there at the center of the gun. So it's very convenient. You can see how where the mouse is, the gun perfectly rotates around that part of the gun there. And I'll show you how to do that. And then in a follow-up video, I'll show you how to do it when you don't have your sprite centered there, uh, which is usually the case for when you have other kinds of objects that your players are going to be holding. So here we go. What you're going to see here is I'm doing it with this sprite. And this sprite, which I've just enlarged the uh, Game Maker gun, is centered right there at the center of the gun. So it's very nice, right? If I tilt the gun 30 degrees, it pivots on that spot, and it pivots 30 degrees. Now, what I'm going to do is basically show you my little code that I have in the step event. I'm just aiming towards the mouse with a little point direction. And then when the mouse button is pressed, I'm firing a bullet. And the bullet gets fired at the image angle of the gun. And its image angle itself matches the image angle of the gun. So it turns the right way. But the problem is I'm making it at X and Y. What I'd like to do is make it at two different spots, not at X and Y. Now, for those that don't know cosines or sine yet in mathematics, you know, it's like grade 9 or 10, you, uh, this will probably go over your head. You can just sort of copy it. It'll work. But if you know your sine and cosine, this actually works out quite nice. What I want to do here is I don't want to make the bullet at X and Y. I'm going to make it at XP and YP. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to make a pair of local variables here, XP and YP, and I'm going to fill these up with good values. Now, what I want to do here <clears throat> is when I actually look at the gun sprite is I don't want to make it right there. I want to make the bullet out a bit. Now, if I move this origin here, I can see I'm about 48 to 80. So I'm about 30 pixels over to the side. So at first glance, you may say, okay, this isn't too bad. Maybe what I have to do is just say, hey, X is my X plus 30. Now, you could try that, but the problem is, is that when the gun is facing upwards, the bullet shouldn't be coming out 30 pixels to the right of the gun. It should be coming up 30 pixels to the top of the gun. So then you might have something like this. It's the Y value minus 30 when the gun is aimed straight up. What's worse is if the gun is at an angle, it may be 15 degrees to the right of the center of the gun and fifth, sorry, 15 pixels to the right of the center of the gun and 15 pixels higher than the center of the gun. Now, how do you accommodate for all the angles? That's where you start to use cosine and sine, and you just do something like this. I measured that full value to be 30 away, but the thing is I want that 30 to change based on the angle. For the x direction, that's a cosine relationship, and we have to take the cos of the angle of our gun. Now there's one problem here. Typically it would be like this. So what you do is you go 30 times the cosine. When the gun is aimed all the way to the right, angle 0, cosine ends up being a full 1. So it's 30 times 1. But as that angle changes, the cosine will change and the x, uh, what we add on here, will get less. When we go all the way to facing the other direction, you'll see it'll actually work out just fine, and this cosine value will adjust the values so it spits out of the muzzle of the gun. Now, the problem is, is that this cosine doesn't take degrees. What we actually have to do here is one extra annoying step, degrees, to a unit called radians. And radians is sort of a mathy 
unit, which can be used to measure angles. Uh, for those that don't know, it's related to pi. It's 180 degrees. So we're just going to switch our degrees to radians so sine and cosine can work. Now when I do this, that's the new x position and that's the new y position. So a little recap, it's the gun's x center point plus some variety of 30. And this could actually be negative 30 because cosine 180 is negative 1. So it'll actually flip to the other side. But this should work. Let's give it a go. Tick, tick, tick. And you'll see now the bullet's actually a little too far. So 30, a little too much, but not too bad. And you can see it even works when I go to these angles. You know, if you don't know cosine, sine, go read up about them. Even students that know cosine, sine have a little problem there. And let's add one extra thing here just for fun, right? Effect, create, below, no, let's go above, EF, explosion, at XP, YP, comma, zero, gray. Little explosion on the end there, right? Adds a lot. Now, in the next example, what you're going to notice is uh, I'll follow it up in a video where what happens when you don't have the gun centered perfectly. For example, what happens when you switch the gun sprite for my gun to be that other gun that I have loaded in here. And this other gun, we can see that's where the player is going to be holding it. And that's where the angle is going to change. What happens now? It's just going to be a small modification. And you'll see the problem is that rotation is still working. But now there has to be something that's done to the numbers, right? That's just not quite right. That's going to be in a part two of this video. Check it out if you want to see or care how that works. Hopefully you use this in your games. I know uh, making things leave the end of a cannon or a gun or a laser cannon, important part of games. Thanks for watching.